Stirling engine. In this, we have an airtight compartment. We are supplying heat from beneath. And this one is a power piston whose freeboard diagram I have drawn. There will be one more force, P0A, from the atmosphere. Now we want to understand what will be happening. These two are interconnected through a mechanical arrangement over here, which I have not shown. Initially, the pressure here is more. So what happens? The force that is acting upward will be more. So this piston will move up. Now as this moves up, heat will be liberated to the surrounding. Now when this reaches middle position, its velocity is max because when it reaches here, the upward force and the downward force on the piston balances. And during this process, once again, heat is being released to the atmosphere. Now because this piston has maximum velocity, it will continue to move up and it will reach its highest point. While it is moving up, because of the mechanical arrangement here, this displacer comes down. And if you see, in the previous slide, the air was being heated up. Because the air was being heated up, the hot air moves up. But while the hot air is moving up, still there is cold air here, so heat is still being released. And because the heat is being released, the air over here is cool. Because the air here is cooler, therefore the temperature here decreases. And because the temperature decreases, pressure decreases. And because the pressure decreases, this has to come down. The power piston comes down. While the power piston comes down, the hot air still keeps on moving up. And because of the mechanical arrangement, the displacer also moves down. Now because the hot air is moving up, the pressure here rises. And because the pressure rises, at this position, when the piston is at its middle, the force again balances and the piston again has maximum speed, this time in downward direction. Now because the air here has been heated up, so the pressure rises. And now the pressure, while it moves down further, the pressure builds up. And because the pressure builds up, while it is moving down, it retards also. And finally it comes to rest at this location where, once again, the upward force is max. And the cycle keeps on repeating itself again and again.